Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's tutorial at bestchoiceprint.com, we'll be looking specifically at the composite goalie mini sticks. So let's select on the composite mini sticks here. We'll be looking specifically at the CSGB004. Let's select that. And let's type in the necessary information here. Let's say I want six of these. I want right, all of them right, maybe. Um, we can get, we can generate a uh, estimate cost, so you can see the total here, and then the cost for each unit. Let's just type in a pseudo postal code here. Let's get rates, and then you can see here that there's three options. Let's stick with the default, which is highlighted here. You can enter in a name, which I did by uh, uh, autofill. Here, uh, for this specific uh, item here, let's say I don't want them all right. I want some of them left-handed. So it's as simple as just typing in right to left, left, four. So you can see here that the uh, total here corresponds with the total there. So leaving these simple instructions will ensure that, you know, you get two of the right and four of the left. So let's hit customize order. We'll just wait for the template to load. While the template's loading, I just want to make a few notes here. Uh, the people at, the hardworking people at bestchoiceprint.com have implemented a lot of new features. Um, some of them might be very subtle, but they're very powerful, and uh, others might be a little bit um, confusing to use initially, but um, hopefully through this tutorial I can guide you and you can fully exploit these new features in your design. So, so let's just jump right in and start designing. So I want to change the text here. So I'm going to change it to something I want to do for one of my uh, teams here. So I'm just going to do Bulldogs 2014. Uh, one of the new features I mentioned previously, or the new features that we implemented, is this one here, which is the preview for the font. So in previous iterations, uh, you would actually have to select, wait for the font to load to see what it looks like. If you didn't like it, uh, you have to do the whole process again. You might have to do it six or seven times before you get a font that you like. So with this, you can actually eliminate that those, those steps and then focus in on the ones that you really want. So let's say, I like this Boston traffic here, so I'll, I'll quickly select that. You can play around with the line spacing. Um, in this case, it's not really necessary. Um, the character spacing is something I highly recommend everyone look at because this feature allows you to play with the spacing between each feature, uh, each character, I should say, or each letter. So if I select 15 here, you can see that the spacing uh, it greatly increases. So um, one of the main benefits of this is that the legibility of whatever you have written uh, greatly increases. Though I do have to warn that you don't want to do it too much or the reverse actually happens and you can't really read it at all. So again, uh, for those of you who are looking to really fully utilize this design, um, I highly recommend looking at it. Uh, you can play around with the alignment you can also play around with the text direction. So this is another new feature we've implemented in our text uh, functions. So if I click on vertical, initially it looks very funky looking, and you're not you're very confused as to how this function or this new feature is uh, valuable to you. So if I simply just resize this text field, I guess you guys see are seeing where where I'm going with this. So I can simply rotate this by clicking on the handle here, or I can s use this button. And this button actually, uh, the difference between this button and this button here is that this button allows you to rotate whatever selected on intervals of 90 degrees. So if I select that, and there we go. You can see where I'm going with this. This is this can be a very powerful tool uh, if utilized correctly. But for this design, I don't really want to do this for this, so I'm just going to simply click on undo, 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 and click undo until you get it back to the state that you liked it. So I like I look. This is what I really like. So I'm gonna keep it at this. Again, you can play around with the arrangement of this. You can insert symbols as well if you need to and change the opacity. But I'm quite happy with this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change the color of this to a dark red. So I like that. So 
I'm basically just going to do the same thing on the other side here. Select Boston traffic, 14, change the space, and probably like 16 there. Um, I'm just probably just going to change the color. All right. At this point, I'm quite happy with that, but I also want to upload a logo. So it's as simple as just click on this Add Image button. Um, you have four tabs here. If you're a returning customer, uh, you can simply click on that, and this will load a library of your previously uploaded images. Um, you can select from one of those uh, and for this order. And then you have My Computer, which allows you to select an image from your desktop. You have a Facebook account. Uh, you can log in and then select an, a photo from that album, from one of your albums in, in Facebook. Or if you're an Instagrammer like myself, you can actually um, log into your Instagram, Instagram account and select an image from that. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's click, click on uh, my computer, hit select, click on this one here, wait for the image to load. I'm just going to crop it. There we go. I just want to quickly note that there's this message here saying that it's a high quality image or high print quality and this might be very vague to uh, some to a lot of you this basically means that the image is good enough for printing sometimes uh, when you see an image on the screen it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come out great when it comes to printing so a standard we usually use here at bestchoiceprint.com is that is 300 dpi and dpi stands for uh, dots per inch so that ensures a really great uh, print print out for your order um, but anything below that you run into risk of images getting very fuzzy or pixelated look especially with the web standard right now at 72 t 72 dpi uh, which is great for viewing but not really great for printing so again quick reference 300 dpi is what you're looking for in your images so let's hit finish cropping now i'm just going to drag this down here uh, and probably I can resize this by using these four corner notes so I can simply just resize it like that drag it over right now it's a bit our field of view is a bit too far out so I'm just gonna zoom in here and then just focus in on this element here I'm just gonna start playing around with it I am quite happy with that actually so you know what yeah so I'm just gonna zoom out again once again and I want to duplicate this on this other side, but I don't want to upload the image or go back through the whole process again. So it's as simple as hitting this copy button and pasting it. And then I'll just drag it over. I'll rotate it using this button here. Oops. There we go. It's going to zoom in here. Okay, um, once that is done, I'm going to zoom out once again. I'm just going to wait for this to load. Yeah, looks good. So I'm just going to back hit fit to width again. So I'm quite happy with all of that. So I'm just going to... Happy with the design of the paddle. So I'm just going to move over to the handle. Now, I'm just, it's pretty much the same process here. I'm not happy with the text here, so I'm just going to enter in go team go. Change the font to that Boston traffic. Change the color to that dark red that we had before. I'm going to make it, make it bold and italicized to make it look a little different. Um, do the same thing on the other side. Go team go. Boston traffic dark red, make it bold and italicized. So I'm just going to zoom in here. I just want to fine tune a few things and showcase if, uh, something here that you might not have noticed. So if I select on this, um, you'll notice once I start dragging it around that there's this white dash lines. And these white dash lines are basically indicating that these are uh, the this will wrap around the back end of the stick. So if you use this top side as a reference, so this will be on the top of the stick, and this will be on the back end. So 
uh, you really, really don't want any elements, let's say a logo or, or a text to go beyond this because that's going to cut off and won't be on the right side or the left side of the stick. Um, graphics like this are great because it makes it, when you wrap it around, it makes it look like it's seamless. But for this, I'm just going to keep it like that. I'm going to shrink this down to 40 actually. Again, do this for 40 as well, or 30, I should say. I just want to see how 30 looks. Oh, 30 is too small. Let's go at 40. Again, I can upload a logo. I'll just select this bulldog. Hit OK. Resize. Finish cropping. Got to zoom out just to see where I placed it. Okay, there we go. Again, resize it to the size that I need it to be. I can zoom in a little bit, just to fine tune the placement. So I like it there. There we go, I like it right there. Again, I can zoom out, copy and paste that drag it over we'll just wait for all the uh, the changes we made to be updated so let's look at the zoom in once again and you know what I just want to showcase how this zoom handle works so I'm just going to rotate it like that okay once we're done with that I'm just gonna quickly go over everything on both sides of the stick and quite happy with that look on this side really happy with that so once you're happy with the overall design of both the paddle and the handle you can click on approve and then a window will pop up sort of generate a proof just quickly go over the design make sure all the spelling is correct on both sides uh, read the disclaimer and accept the conditions and you're basically done the design portion of uh, of your order so this will redirect you to your sort of like the finishing of your order so we'll just wait for that page to load and as you can see here the details and then the additional information that sort of corresponds to this um, I hope I helped you out and I answered a lot of your questions. My name is Chris and I hope you have a great day and happy designing. Bye.